All right, so this is Lily. She's a new client. She is calling today for grooming, and she's pretty matted. So this is why I said this, this clothing just teases the hair. So if you don't take it off every day, this will probably be what you get. So we're going to take it off, and I'll show you, you know, the matted. Uh, we did hear that the pet was matted over the phone, so we do know that that exists, and uh, we quoted them accordingly. Um, it's the same day walk-in on a Saturday, which is hard to get for us because we do one dog at a time. So now this is a, uh, whoa, this is really mad at you guys. Okay. So if you guys want to say you want to save this, go ahead. But I am, I'm not going to save all these mats, okay? Um, you've got to take the clothing off and brush. There's like dreadlocks up in, oops, sorry, up in here, okay? All this is, is pretty matted. And then spots, like matted and not, and matted and not, okay? Okay, if you want to use clothing, you've got to take the clothing off and brush the, the animal. Okay, this poor baby, all right, baby, okay. So, um, it's very matted in here. Okay. This is all matted, real matted in here. I don't even need a comb. You guys can see it, can't you? This poor thing. So we have to do a summer cup today. It's the safest thing to do. And I'm going to do, I really want to do a 10, but I think I can get the right under most of that with the seven. So that's what we'll do first. Woo! Seriously. And here we go. Shut the door though, please. A lot of different colors here, like almost like a brindle, a brindle going on. So pretty neat as we take off the hair here. Now, 10 is a safer blade, but 7 I can see I could probably get through. I'm just not pressing very hard. If I run into a snag, I'm going to go wait for my 10, okay? Just know that. And then see there's nipples. Be careful down there. I just really, really wanted to get her close cut, but I didn't want to take her down to us like nothing. You know what I mean? So, hmm. What do you think? What do you think about the haircut? I love it. Yeah, it's great. Sure, we'll have a video posted this week sometime. Uh, you can just go to youtube.com slash my favorite groomer. So they're working on that right now. Yeah. Whoop, whoop, that's her own dogs. They don't like each other. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love the wispies in the face sometimes, so I'm going to try to see if I can keep them. I'll, yeah, I don't know. Thank you so much. No, man. 
Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, take you with me. Whoa. Shut the door, please. your face. Look at your face. Look at your face. David's innocent, right? No. No, he's not innocent. You know, you're blaming me for stuff. The owner was like, it's already broken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to leave some of these scraggly look up. I clean it up, obviously, but scraggly. kind of like it, don't you? The ears are going to look good in a few days. Keep going. Don't quit. Yeah, show her that picture. David's picking on me. Oh yeah, her dogs don't like each other. Isn't that weird? This happens. Animals are animals. One was a, a solo pet, and then she got a, another pet. So she said it took some use, uh, getting used to, but sometimes they still don't get along. She told me, don't put them in the same cage. I got my tin if you guys didn't notice. I'm doing the sanitary now. I'm cleaning up different areas. your faces girl I'm not really sure what I want to do with it but let's check out your feet first 40 on the pads
I'll come through, get your D. You guys know I use the same tools over and over. So some of the same tools that you need, you're gonna use over and over. So if you need a kit built for yourself, you know, go through the video and kind of watch every tool I use. And there's a set of tools I constantly use over and over that are, that are great for every dog. And then if you watch a German Shepherd or a Husky versus a Yorkie, you're gonna see there's some things I don't ever use, you know? And then you'll know which ones you actually wanna go ahead and get for, oh my goodness, this is a, this is not a dreadlock, this is a, can you see this? Remember I told you I hate bows? Look at this, this is a rubber band bow left in there for how long here look at this oh my goodness this is what i'm talking about man this is a rubber band bow wow same thing right here what's going on here man this is what happens we're going to do a short teddy bear head here i'm going to go this way with it look at this i'm going to keep this You gotta take the bow out and Brett daily or every other day. Yeah, daily, man. I don't know what I'm talking about. You need to take the bow out and brush it. Poor thing. This is re I'm gonna keep my comments to myself for a minute. <sighs> I was like, look at that dreadlock. No, that's not what that was. You can come in this way, you know, so I don't have to take it all the way down, but I am taking it out. Kind of checking out the ear canal. She's doing really good, isn't she, y'all? Considering, you know, look at this. <laughs> a little bit nervous but you're doing pretty good yeah what do y'all think man all this stuff leave it blade here. Coming back with my foreguard. I'm going to go ahead and come forward here because of that situation. I just had to cut it out. So It does a natural split here, so I'm doing that. I'm not worried about the top of her head this time. I'm worried about just getting all that cleaned out. 
picking your blade. Okay, it's nice and cool. So it's not bad. Just edge up the eyeballs out of there. I'm not really trying to shave down the muzzle on her. Just edge up all that gunk in her eyes and stuff. I'm going to easily go back here and kind of layer that back gently around the eyeball. I'm holding the chin very tight, anticipating any sudden move. We're going to go backwards here, like that, just up, up, and there you go. Just up, up, and swipe, right? I'm going to leave all that. I kind of like it. Um, okay, yeah, you're so pretty. All right, let's see here. I'm just going to kind of taper this this way. So all this is not hanging in her water bowl or anything like that. And you can come up point tip means it's just edgy and it's not just like a line. So that way it still looks rough. <laughs> and we still got to go to the bath, so we have some other, other work to still do. This ear probably is hanging down because of the heaviness of the hair. So I'm going to bring this just a top notch up and see if that helps. If not, I think that's so cute, right? It's a little bit more work, but at least she has some character, right? Very cute, very cute. We're gonna keep that edgy. Yeah. Hi, right, you ready to go? We're gonna go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. You hear David? You guys hear him? <laughs> He's picking on me today. And you guys don't know the, the side of David I know. Super soft. Um, I can feel it right here. I got scratched today. I got scratched at some point. I think it was this one when I was just holding her and walking around talking to the client. Hey, baby, what you thinking, huh? It's kind of at the end of the day, I'm kind of wore out a little bit, and I'm not thinking straight. <laughs> so I'm going to brush this backwards. So I get some of this thickness. And I'm going to take, I'm going to show you guys a trick. You guys probably know the trick already, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. When I'm done here. She's got a lot of thickness here, you know, so she might, she might, and um, if she's a full Yorkie, it shouldn't really be that way, but... If she's shedding, that's one thing. Wow, the hair is so soft, y'all. I wish I could just, man, I wish I could share it with you. So we're back doing the seven. See, I'm glad I did at least a seven. I got, it's nice and smooth. My arm is really wore out today. I'm gonna get the dog up sand here in a minute. So I know she wants to sit down. There you go, get in the stand. So I don't have to keep pushing her up. Just a couple, let's say just a couple seconds of time. So my brother-in-law sent me mine since I sold out all of the dog up stands we brought to Pasadena. We just got them today. Thank you, brother-in-law, you're amazing. He builds a lot of the orders for us. Right now he builds all the orders for us up in uh, Virginia. So we're gonna do this, and this is the tilted 
This is gonna just assist her standing so I can move quicker. It's the end of the day and this will really help. See, uh, I don't need a pad. I am in and out. So if you guys think you need a pad, by all means put a towel under there. It's not hurting her, it's just assisting her and I'm not taking very long to go through her coat, okay? So it's really important to know that, okay? If you're gonna take a long time, yeah, maybe you do need a pad, but um, just a simple towel. It's, it's just, the product's pretty smooth. I think you're fine. The earlier version's a little rougher coat on the product, or no coat, it's raw, but still functional. Those are still the ones I use. Okay. I'm gonna lift her neck here. This is so smooth. Washing is so important. The way you wash and using the conditioner all together, it's just so important because you really get a nice effect on the coat. And then one that will actually last, you know, a couple weeks where you got the nice smell. Or um, we started carrying this the cologne for the product as well. Because I would do other colognes like uh, during winter time I would do hot chocolate or apple pie a la mode. Mm. You really want to give your dog kisses then. Okay, I'm loving this look, you guys. What do you think? Kind of let the the head kind of look how this. Oh, I love the stand. Dogupstand.com if you want one. Okay. Uh, help me sell out of those. We're close. We're almost there. We're almost there. We have some left. Wow, she's so, she looks so gorgeous. You look so gorgeous. You look so sweet. Yes, you do. You look so sweet. Yes, you do. Okay. I love this stand, you guys. Just absolutely. What a lifesaver. Okay, I'm going to get my little, I call it a slicker online. This is just a shape. I just like to move the hair around. The other, this is your real, you know, slicker, large, brush slicker. Use this on every dog I do. We have the small and the large online. That way you can potentially get a small one if you have this size dog. But uh, the more head to it, the more it covers. The more body it covers, the less brush time you have. That's the major difference. With this slicker, I call it the slicker, like the shaper, hair shaper. I'm just going to use that, or it comes in different looks. You know, these are kind of older, so they've upgraded the looks, and we're going to start carrying some white ones and stuff. So same uh, product, same type of product will do the, the job that we need, and that's what you're going to use it for. You're just going to use it to kind of shape the hair, okay? Just move that hair around so you can trim it easily, okay? Wow, she seems just happier, just uh, not so worried. She's doing great. Boy, she sits down, right? See, that stand is so helpful, you guys. But I gotta trim her feet, so I have to move the stand. We're almost on clean up, finish up here, so. I have to move the stand out for that, unfortunately. Do we move out of your visual? I'll have to look at the camera here in just a second. So now I can't really tell what's on the table and what's not, so I'm going to sweep my table.
coming into this area a little bit for the knee while she's sitting, so I've got my bubble tips. And this right here, sometimes you can kind of capture these little whiskies, whiskers, what am I trying to say, wispies, right there when they kind of do this squat thing. You can kind of see them sticking out sometimes. Right in here. Oh, of course we got dead battery. Man, me and my dead battery issues. So you gotta watch these nipples. I'd rather be safe than sorry, so keep it keep it real down there. Don't take it too short. Any wrong move at this point could be a bad situation, so keep it real. Do what you can, but don't get too picky. She's doing so good, you guys. I got you guys again, didn't I? <laughs> Man, when it gets too quiet, you guys, come on now. Dave is like, Didi, when we watch your video, you know, he'll watch the video. And he'll be like, I'm just waiting for you to make a mistake. And he goes, you know, they're just waiting for you to make a mistake. And I'm like, yeah, I know, right? Did I get you? Did I get you guys? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty intense, right? It's pretty intense. And you're using this. This is sharp equipment, you guys. Come on now. It's real. But it didn't happen, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, she did great. So glad we got that out, all that stuff. Good gosh. I'm going to come back to the sanitary hiney area and do a tin. Right under the tail here, I'm going to scoop that out real easy. Scoop all that down or up or however you need to get that hair out of the way up there. Nice. Man, we're good to go. We're good to go here. Yeah. Yeah, what are you doing? We got to do toenails, Dee Dee. What are you thinking? I'm going to try to do her toenails with just a little assist here. Let's see if she'll be all right. Here we go. Oh, there's nothing to take off. Let's check this one. If I didn't know what to look for and I went ahead and tried to take something off, this dog would not be happy with me. There's a straight up the quick back there. You got this. You got it. Just a little bit here and there. You want to get it right to the vein, no further if possible. Every dog's nail is different. Every nail is different. Every dog is different. You're doing so good. Why are you doing so good? Look how much of a difference you have. Look how much of a difference you have in your behavior. Did you build trust in just that one hour? Hmm? Very good. You did so good. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Okay, we're going to leave in, I'm going to leave in conditioner, but there's a little bit of squirt on that. Tiny little bit of conditioner here, just a little. And we are good to go. Can't believe the uh, battery lasted. And thanks for watching DD Crew with my favorite groomer on YouTube. I hope I got a few of you. I just love setting y'all up. Yes. Check out the dogupstand.com. Uh, so many people have written me and told me they're really happy with the product. And I'm really happy that it's helped you all speed up your processes. And uh, Darla in Canada, um, I'm trying to think of all these names. Um, my friend, uh, someone in Australia uh, recently, and 
the gentleman in Michigan, um, shoot, Mike Heiser in Michigan. Thank you all for ordering the dog up stand. I'm so happy to see your pictures, your emails, your text messages. Um, thank you for sharing. I'm so glad the product has really helped many of you out there. If you don't have one, get one. Uh, we are making them in the USA right now. We're making them um, right here. It's really hard to do that. You guys don't have, have any idea. But to uh, keep it in-house in the USA, as, as long as we can do that, we will. And made by me and my brother-in-law and the team that we've hired to help produce the product uh, in Virginia. Um, military all throughout the process and um, just in and out. But me and my brother-in-law, definitely military families here. And I just appreciate y'all. Um, thank you. Hoorah Air Force, man. Okay, who out of all the military out there? Uh, thank you for your service, and uh, I hardly ever say that, but I think it's because I'm a veteran myself. But thank you all for watching and subscribing, and I appreciate y'all. Please share and help us get to 1 million subscribers. Thanks for watching.